first uh, worksheet which is named text. And we're going to look at some text functions. Okay. What I have here is a set of five tweets. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to use Excel text functions to extract the words out of a tweet. Okay. I'll not give, give you the full thing, which you can figure out later after the class, but I'll just give you the idea. I'll just give you how to do it, the, the basic uh, algorithm, the basic steps of the algorithm that you need. But we'll come to that later. Let's first learn some Excel text functions. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll start with simple things like upper, lower, and proper. Okay, these are Excel text functions. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write welcome to Excel RI. Okay, when you use the upper function, so it equals upper A8, right? So all that I'm saying is that take A8 and change it to uppercase. We can, we can expect this, right? So the entire thing is now changed to uppercase. And of course, you know what will happen if I use lower. So everything is in lowercase. Now, what is this proper? Proper is actually what is known in Word as the sentence case, right? As the sentence case. What happens is the first letter of a word is capitalized everything else is lower so this is upper and lower and proper okay next we'll learn what's left so and can right you show the formula again yeah sure here it is so if you want to see all the formulas in the thank you in the worksheet at one shot what you can do is you can use the shortcut key control plus left tick which is the left tick is right above the tab key just above the tab key so if you press control and the left tick together you can see all the formulas in the worksheet right at one shot okay it's a toggle switch so you can do press the same combination again and it goes back to the values right so that's the shortcut key one other one other option is to go to formulas and say uh, show formulas here no not where, where is that i am i can't see this form yeah here it is this one this one is show formulas okay so anyone anyone is good enough right so either control plus left tick or click on this right okay good now control left tick and i'm back to values and i'm going to use uh, some of these uh, formulas now left right and mid what is left what is right and what's mid okay now <clears throat> let's go and say equals left Okay. Now, when you write the the uh, the name of the function and with the parentheses and all that, and this this thing comes up, sort of a, a help that comes up. What you can do is you can click on the help, the name of the function, and it opens the help file. And please understand that. The best way to learn Excel, Excel functions, is to make use of this help file, right? So I will be teaching you the basic functions and all that stuff, but there's no way I can teach you functions for all possible um, situations that you come across. There's no way I can do that. It's just too huge to, to cover in a few days. 
So what you do is, as you come across situations where you have to solve something, some problem, then you can just go to Google and just type, this is my problem, how do I solve in Excel? And I don't need to teach you how to search in Google, you are you masters of that, you are better than me on that. So once you search Google and figure out <clears throat> which function you want, then you can simply come and read the help file and understand what does the function do. This is the way, the only way you learn Excel. There is no other way of learning Excel. Okay, good. So this is this is sort of thing that you read and figure out what does the function do. But anyway, this is so simple that we don't need to do that. We can simply look at the uh, the syntax of the function and sort of figure out intuitively what does the function do. So left A8, right? So this is the text A8. <clears throat> That's your first parameter. And number of characters, numcar. So let's give a number and see what happens. So let me give you three. And what do I see? I see W, E, L. The first three from the left of the text. The first three characters from the left of the text. So that's what the left function does. Now you can very well understand what the right function will do. A8, 3, LRI. Right? That's quite obvious. The mid function is, is a bit more interesting than that. So what does the mid do? Well, the mid function, if you look at the, the syntax here, it says text. Which text? It's A8, of course. Right? Start number start number so where do you want to start so i say let's say i want to start from four and number of characters and i say well let's say five so what is it that i have asked me to do i'm saying look take the text a8 start from the fourth character and extract five characters starting from number four Okay, so what do you get? You get C O M E. So C is the fourth character, and then I pick up how many? Five more, right? So this gives me C O M E and that space, right? So not a good idea. So let me do seven, and this will help you understand. So C O M E, four. Space is 5, T is 6, and O is 7. So come 2. Okay? So now you understand how to extract portions from a text using mid. Right? Good. <coughs> what else do we have? Well, um, there's a function called trim. Okay? So let's say someone had a question. Can I can I can I come back to you after some time? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, sure. So sometimes what happens is when you are working with text and you have this data that you have got, a lot of times you have a lot of spaces in between. So initially quite a lot of spaces, and then there is let's say welcome, then a lot of space two and a lot of space again xlri and a lot of trailing spaces as well right so plenty of spaces now let's say i want to figure out what is the length of this text so there's a function called len right and what i have to do is just say len of this so there you can see then the length is 92 all because of these those spaces blank spaces right now how do i take care of that by using the trim function okay the trim function so i can say trim simply trim this now i can see all leading trailing space is gone as well as spaces in between words Sir, your microphone is muted. 
Oh, sorry about that. From since when? Since when? What was the last thing you heard? Uh, like, you just you had. You had just started. I had just started what? The trim function started to type trim, trim function. function. Ah, okay, okay. So, so not much, not much. <laughs> Good. So, okay. Trim. So, I can. I want to uh, remove the spaces, the leading and trailing and between word spaces, by using the trim function, which is simply trim of this text. So trim this text is what I'm saying, and it returns, you know, removes all those trailing, leading trailing spaces and spaces between words. So now if you want to figure out what is the length of this, this is 15, right? And therefore you can see, and the other one was 92, so all of that trimmed. 